Smart Mag Gradiometer Setup Video, Take One. All right. So this is the gradiometer. It has a lot of stuff attached to it, but essentially, there is the spike that is just clamped onto the bottom of the hole that's normally in the backpack that faces downwards. There is a clamp holding on the instrument that is the, the smart mag, which is normally the base station. These two are tied together at the cable. And then there's another cable going from here to the console. Finally, there's a cable coming off the top that goes to the other sensor. Now, you could put another pole in here to make it taller. Uh, I didn't put that pole in because my garage has a limited amount of space. All right, turning console on. Step one. We're going to actually turn that on, and turn this on, we're going to create a new project, just increment the number by one, press create, we're going to go to setup. Make sure that the number of sensors is set to two. Make sure it says valid sequence at the bottom. You can toggle the order. It'll say invalid sequence if it's invalid. Tuning mode, 50. We're not gonna record the raw GPS data because we're not gonna do any corrections. Time zone. We're in minus six or minus seven. Sensor geometry. So this smart mag sensor is about a meter forty off the ground, and the other sensor is about twenty centimeters off the ground. So that's set correctly. And now we're just going to hit mobile survey, set our sample rate to one second, and hit start. Now it goes into tuning mode, and you can see here that it is trying to tune to the background values. And lucky for us, it tuned correctly right away. And we're getting valid data right away, which doesn't always happen in my garage because there's lots of steel and other noise here. Uh, sometimes you have to hit retry several times before it'll tune. But now that it's running, we're going to go quickly outside and collect a little bit of data just to make sure that the data looks fine in the text file that we're gonna dump in the next video. All right, here I am in a quiet area of my yard where the gradiometer is like further away from rebar and everything that's in my garage. So now, if we can see the screen, it's hard to see, I'm gonna need to. The top number on the screen is a reasonable number. This is the magnetic gradient between the two sensors. And if I move around, uh, I have a water stem, water shutoff valve that we will try to detect. And you can see right here is my water shutoff valve and the gradient is very high. Move away from it. 
and it goes back down to something low. So this is the device performing as expected. All right, last video. We are going to dump the data. To dump the data, the device needs to have a battery attached and the US cable, USB cable going to a computer. Then you turn it on and sometimes it takes a moment. It'll flash USB mass storage a few times. And on your computer, assuming you're running Windows, in a second or three, you should get the file manager popping up. Don't make me a liar. There's a data folder. Uh, we were just in project two. There's your data file. You can copy paste it out of here or just open it in a text editor. It is just plain text, but you probably want to look at it in a spreadsheet or something. So there you go. You can see the field reading Uh, gives you the value of the field in nanoteslas. And then there's another sensor with another field. So you actually get data from both sensors together. Uh, and so you just, if you want to plot this as a gradient, you subtract one from the other. So going down here. 55, 621, and 55, 982, you just subtract them and you get the gradient for plotting. That's all.